easy to see based on what we're doing right now because of how we're doing it. And then I'll explain what I mean by that. Yeah. We're very, we're very conscious about building our business, following all the rules. Obviously, we're paying all our taxes. We are always making sure that the stuff we source, we can get over and over and over again, right? Now, it's harder when we were doing that with thrifting because it's like snowflakes, right? Everything's different with condition, but you try to go to as many high volume thrifts as possible to give yourself the best opportunity. So our business model is built around retail arbitrage and brand new with tag items, all name brand. So understanding how they work, these billion dollar companies and where we fit in allows us to create the projected consistency in these projected models. So what I'm, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is our $2 million this year is honestly, this is going to blow people's mind. We go to less than 10 stores, less than 10 as a whole group. Yeah. Not you, your whole crew, the whole crew tag. And there's over 6,000 mm. locations. We go to less than 10. Mm. This is also comfort for me because I'm like, there's so much opportunity that everyone can do what we're doing and still we're all going to get our piece of the pie. We Less than 10. 10 stores. I, I can go to 10 stores. You're right. Like myself. Dude, less than 10. And now, now so the, back to your original question, what is a million dollars a month look like? I mean, 20 of those stores. I mean, now back it up. What way in order to get to that point, this is based on what the question you asked earlier. We need to keep being honest with our numbers, being honest with what's working, create little, create little efficiencies and our buying budget has to continue to grow. Like That's right. I, can't, I can't just snap my fingers and be like, we're going to do a million dollars next month because our buying budget has to grow. I want to keep those margins. We're hovering around 20, 21%. The last couple of weeks, we've actually been trending at 23%. So we're like, why, why is that? And we're looking at our numbers and we're looking at the inventory. We're also looking at the systems we're using during the stream and saying, you know, uh, what are we doing during the stream that's helping us increase our average sale price? Um, because at the end of the day, I don't want to hit a million a month streaming 12 hours a day. I want to- And also hit a million a month and have nothing to show for it. Right, or free time. I want to have, I want to, and you know, again, in order, we're talking big numbers right here, and I'm, I'm very cognizant, cognizant of that. But it, in order to get there, it is incremental. Now we'll have a conversation in the future, and we'll be talking. Oh my gosh, we're doing a million a month, and my addicted mind is gonna be like, we could probably do ten mil a month, or I'll be like, I'll oh, go down like this. Yes. Yes. But this this conversation that we're having right now, all the things that we're we're doing, Lindsay and I were doing when our goal was one used pair of shoes sold per day meeting mm -hmm. up with locally same exact conversation it's yeah. just different numbers uh how do we create efficiencies all right we got to meet one person per day at the grocery store and then if we want to sell <coughs> shoes per day local delivery why don't we just set up the delivery at the same grocery store and meet at the same time that's right so it's that same logic of i don't want to you know, meet someone 50 miles over here, 50 miles over there, but how can I create efficiencies? Ooh, same meeting spot, same thing with whatnot. How do I, how can I be at two places at once? I build out a sourcing team. So our team over in this state is also sourcing at the same time as this state. So we can spend our buying budget in one day, get the best inventory at the best price. They, it all gets shipped to us. It arrives in a couple days and then two days later it's all sold and then we can do it all over again. And you just do it again, yeah. So like when you're trying to create the efficiencies and streamline stuff, it's always every single time addition by subtraction. Like you said, you can't be in two places at one time. So you have to subtract one place and have both your buyers meet you at the same place. Addition by subtraction. So like when people want to speed up their process, when people want to. Native 10 stores in one day because you have subtracted going to one store every one place and has both your buyers meet you at the same place addition by subtraction so like when people want to speed up their process when people want to improve um their efficiency it's always what are people that are faster than me not doing that I am doing? So a lot of people yeah. will see me taking photos and I can take a picture in 30 seconds. 
look at your process and see what you're doing that I'm not doing. Because that addition by subtraction is the only way that you're going to speed up the process. So for you, you have subtracted sourcing in general by leveraging other people to go do it. So now you are hitting 10 stores in one day because you have subtracted going to one store every two hours because the next store is a two hour drive. Now, how are you able to get that? You look at your system and you go, you know what? I'm going to force thrift stores this week. I need to subtract something in order to get better because people that are finding more items, finding better items are doing stuff that you're not doing. And a lot of the stuff, extracurricular activity is where the bloat is, where, where our, our processes slow down and we're not enough, we, just, we can't get enough widgets up to necessitate the life that we want to live in the time that we want to do it. So for yeah. you, you can run the same exact business that you're running today, but like you said, you'll be catching a flight, you'll be in a city, you'll spend a week there, you'll come back home, and you can stream it. You'll get the same amount of money. Yeah. However, at the price of what? Yeah. Everything yeah. else that you're working so hard for that's so important to you. Everything. I mean, it's a constant, you know, to echo what you're saying, it's a constant question of what do we want to have actually have happen? I think a lot of resellers don't even know what they want to have happen. Like, hey, I want to That's pay all my question, bills. Man. They, I want to pay all my bills. And I'll say, all right, cool. Well, how much are your bills? And they're like, I don't know. And we're like, I'm like, all right, take your shoe off right now and throw it and hit the bullseye on the target. Where's the target? Where's the bullseye? Right. Uh, if you throw it, I'm like, how, you don't even know where the target is. So the reason I say that is it's a constant question of like, what do we want to have actually have happen? Sometimes you get creative with that. Like sometimes it's like, well, what if I don't even want to leave my family to go source? And then it gets scarier. Like, I don't know if anyone will source it. And then is shipping the stuff up to me going to be too expensive? Like, but then you start working through those questions and finding answers. And sometimes you find answers that you don't like, but it's honest. And sometimes you're like, wait, there is an opportunity here. And sometimes you got to make a little tweak. And then you say, is this what I want? Is this what I want? Is the money that it's churning out worth the effort? And, you know, or is there more room for efficiency? Now, with respect to whatnot and what you're looking at right now, when I did my first stream, there was like a rack of hoodies like way over there. And then there was like one over there. And everything has come in. So it's like within arm's length. Yeah. So I can run the streams way quicker. That's right. But it, I'm trying to give you more examples on different marketplaces and different ideas. I call it spaghetti mapping. Um, a friend, Emily, gave us that term. I didn't make it up. But like where you're walking around, how do I do less steps on the street? Right. That matters. And, but how, when I'm photographing stuff, oh, if you're listing, how do, I, how do you create less friction to accomplish a task that's crucial for your business so that you have more free time? And then obviously that leads to... Uh, more profit in a short amount of time. I mean, it's the classic, how do I make more money in less time uh, in order to live the life that I want? That, that's absolutely right. And when I did the warehouse tour, I showed everything that was set up. The distance between the photo and the stacks, if it's one step this way and one step this way, you're taking two steps 250 times. That's 500 steps. That's, that's like a quarter mile every single day that you are walking one step at a time. So I made the reseller ruler, right? Because I used to have a dedicated yeah. measuring process. And that process conservatively, let's say it takes 30 seconds to measure one piece of clothing. Back then I was doing 120. 120 times 30 seconds is an hour. One hour per day. Okay? One hour per day is seven hours per week. Seven hours times 52 weeks is 364 hours a week divided by 24. That's 15 days a month that I was spending 30 seconds at a time measuring clothing. 15, 24 hour days, 30 seconds at a time at 250 a day. That's how you gotta think though. You got, cause if you skip that, but that's all that time. 15 days a month, a half of, 15 days a year, a half a month of my life was spent measuring this every single year. And I had to eliminate that process to add 15 days a month, 15 days a year to back to my life. And with 15 more days a year, I can work on my business, I can work on my family, I can do so much more 
one step at a time, 30 seconds at a time. Now, if, if you're lifting five a day, 30 seconds doesn't matter that much. Right, right, right. As you scale to 10 a day, it starts adding. As you scale to 20 a day, it starts adding. If you're streaming thousands of dollars per hour, you better get that spaghetti model, that spaghetti map fully functional. Otherwise, time is money when you're on the screen, and we got to get those sales running, those auctions running. Let me take it a step further. The best time to figure this out is when you're only listing five. That's right. Then. Because if you if you figure it out then, it's going to be a lot easier as you scale. If you've tried to scale, it's going to be a lot harder in order to do that. I mean, you're going to feel the effects of the extra 15 days. But Lindsay and I always look at these little things that happen, and we're like, all right, if we grow, does this mean that mm -hmm. this thing is going to happen exponentially? And if we don't like that thing, we're like, all right, we're going to figure this out right now. The sourcing is a great example. When we first brought in a hundred pairs of shoes, we were like, holy smokes, this is insane. We got a hundred pairs of shoes today. Uh, and then we're like, how do we get a hundred pairs per store? How do we get a hundred pairs in one hour? How do we hire someone else to get a hundred pairs for us? Uh, and again, that's just continuing to allow us to hit these big numbers for us and uh, still have the extra. Pay. And then, I think like even if we never hit it, I think it's still healthy to have your brain turning and thinking about this stuff. Yep. So like even if you never do twelve million dollars a year, a million dollars a month, it's healthy to think about that, to get the ducks in a row in your head mentally, to figure out how this needs to be done. Like you said, reverse engineer it because you already know at my average sale price, I need to to sell X amount of items. I know how many items I could sell per hour. So I know how many hours I'm going to need to stream in order to do a, a million dollars a month. You've already got it. It's all right there. And we have it in, in our eBay stores as well. We know, hey, if, if I sell five items a day with a 500 item store, that means for every new 100 items that I implement into the store, that on average should get one more additional sale if all things are made the same. If I have 600 items, I sell six a day on average. If I have a thousand items, I sell 10 a day on average. How do I get my store to this size? And sell 10 a day because I need to sell 10 a day at $20 profit to make $200 profit because that's my profit goal for the day. All of this can be mapped out. All of this can be implemented. And I think it's very healthy to sit and think about it, even if we never get to those levels. So, look, man, 